Can you see clearly everything? Yeah. I can see everything. Okay. Okay. I think I am. Are you ready? Yeah. Do we have a timer? Timer? <laughs> we never look at the time. I do kind of. But um that's a good idea to keep shot. Wait two minutes. Well we can just kinda of guess. It's a good like so like we don't guesstimate of like, oh shit, we've been so between, talking for a long time. Between 45 and 50, and 50 okay, we stop. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. to the SF Beer Show. We're back again. Um, I'm Taylor. I'm Adrian. And uh, yeah, we're back and we are tasting only the finest beers around the world. So, um, around the world. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and today we, so we have Belgium. So we picked two countries only, but still. Yeah. Belgium is uh, a popular one. Belgium and uh, America, still. Yeah. Uh, with uh, California specifically. Yeah. So, what, what do we have? First first beer we got to taste here is uh, mm. Mammoth, Mammoth Brewing Company. Um, they're calling it the Wet Harvest Lager. So, basically, it's a, uh, it's a lager. It's fermented like a lager at cold temperatures. But they're saying that it has uh, some, a lot of hops in it. Kind of like an IPA, so IPA lager. That's interesting. You know, a hoppy lager. So I'm kind of <laughs> excited to taste this one. Yeah, me too. After all that you told me about this, uh, the Mammoth Festival. Yes. I, I I must try something from there. Yeah, one of the one of the best uh, brewing festivals I've ever been to, where you can taste a lot of stuff all around. Hmm. But. Yeah, so it's a bit, it's a bit shady so far, so that's good. Yeah, a little bit. And they probably a lot of carbonation going on in there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's got you know it's got some citrusy flavors in there. I smell some lemon and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty light, light citrusy flavor. Yeah, yeah. Let's give it a try. <coughs> Mm. I never try something like that. No, I mean in the good, in the good way. It's very unique. Yeah. So how can we describe that to those who do not have the chance to, to taste what we taste right now? <laughs> no, it's, it's very, uh, very uh, it's very like full like flavor. It's full yeah. of flavors, but yeah, there's a lot of lemon and like citrus flavor in it. It's a bit acid. It like, has um, it has some hops. But not too much, mm -hmm. so um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's pretty much exactly how they described it on the bottle. Yeah, it's kind of a light lager, but it has similar hops to like a IPA kind of thing, and then you get like that summertime uh, citrus. You know, maybe you can throw a lemon wedge mm -hmm. in here or something. Tastes good. But it tastes good. Uh, like it's it's still light, so like mm -hmm. it, it just hit you like for half a second and then boom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I don't know what what to compare to. It's very cool. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if you're trying, if you want to try something more with the hoppy flavors and get into the bitter bitter beers, maybe try this out first because yeah. it will kind of introduce you to. Something with a little bit more hops in it, but not a full-on double IPA or something. <laughs> Hold on for the double IPA. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, this one is pretty red. Yeah, I'm liking it. Yeah. I'm digging it. It's a, it's summertime almost. And, mm, yeah. Uh, the days are long. I think it's I think it's a seven and a half for me for for the summer. Yeah, me too. Seven point five. That's that's my last spot on it. All right. Moving on across the world. Belgium. <coughs> the Belgium one. We played n nine hours. Yeah, yeah. And boom! Just, they they just, made something completely different. Just flew there right now. So we got the Saison Imperial from the brewery De Proof. Very good brewery, by the way. Yeah. We had a couple of beer from them on the show already. And uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. That's what I can, that's yeah, what they, I can say. That makes some good beers. It's, uh, it's great. This one, I think the other one also, but this one has uh, two yeasts in it also. Mm -hmm. Two different types of yeast. Um, the kind of the, you know, Belgian yeast, and then they have like another one in there that's supposed to kind of give it more of an earthy flavor. So, um, yeah, we'll yeah. See, what, see what it has in store. Belgian farmhouse aid. Boom. Yeah, what, they called it a... Farmhouse flavor. Mm. Whatever that's supposed to make sound. So it was the so the brewery <coughs> the proof was the winner on the last Zitos Festival. Like one of the biggest beer festivals in Belgium. Which is something. Have you been? Or no, not yet. But my friend has been there. Like. Maybe we need to book a trip and go and then we'll have the beer show there. Yeah, for a weekend. <laughs> it's, it's totally worth it. Yeah, it would be good. Do you smell what I smell? Yeah. <laughs> the spices just blowing out of the top of that bottle. It's uh, it's up there. Yeah, I even I even almost smell like a pumpkin flavor in there. I don't know where that comes from, but yeah, it's kind of a a slightly cloudy amber style ale. Yeah, slightly amber. Yeah. Um, can see a lot of carbonation, but smaller not, bubbles. Not too big of a head. A little bit smaller bubbles than, say, the slogger that we got here. Mm -hmm. Mammoth. But yeah, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of Belgian spice in there. I mean, you can taste, not taste, but smell it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the this is the kind of thing that you recognize immediately. The, the spices. And yeast. Yeah, it's, it's typical in a Belgian oh. beer. I mean, it's very, very common. Wow. Whoa. Very surprising, again. Yeah. It's, again, another complex beer. <laughs> it's very well balanced. It's not good. It's not too strong or too light. It's not. It's pretty complex, but to your advantage, I think. <laughs> but I, I I like it. What do you taste the most out of there? I I think I get a lot of fruity fruity flavors out of there. But you you have that yeast that spicy yeast flavor too. But it's it's pretty uh, fruity and smooth. Kind of yeah, a little bit sweet. Bit, yeah, but it's a lot of fruits. It's good though. I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm kind of stuck because I like them both. And I don't know how to... Uh, I like this one better. You know. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's So like for, for for those of you who are new to Belgium world, like maybe we, I mean here like in the US we can find some shime everywhere pretty much or some duvel. Uh, this is a different kind of shit. Like it's yeah, <laughs> it's a it's not your typical uh, Belgian beer. Where yeah, it's not like the black thing. Like oh my shelf. god, it looks like a full of weird things. No, it's like we're in the classy beer right now. <laughs> And uh, it's very complex and at the same time uh, very accessible, drinkable, of course. Uh, you must take the time to appreciate it. And uh, it's, a, it's a great one. 
I don't even know where my friend found it, Sylvain. But uh, he got he got it. That's it. That's so all that that's all that matters. Yeah. So there's a lot of places here, little nooks and crannies where you mm -hmm. can pick up some really tasty beers. But so how how much will you get? Um I think I'm gonna have to give it a seven and a half also. Also? Because I'm I like them both. It's a die. Mm -hmm. I really actually like them both because the the mammoths kind of surprised me, you know. It, it, yeah, me too. I like wow. I didn't know if they'd yeah. be able to pull off the hoppiness in the lager and have it still be kind of a balanced beer. So I'm gonna give it a seven and a half also. So Oh yeah, I'm going to give it a nine. That's it. <laughs> You're a fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's really tasty, it's really well balanced and uh, it's what we like. Alright. Right. It's very uh, like I good. like it. Lot of, lot of yeast, so strong character here. Uh, yeah, we will definitely have, have, have more Belgian beer on the show. Oh yeah, Belgium, oh, yeah. Belgium is a popular topic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, but that was it. There you go, that's the size and imperial um, amber ale mm -hmm. there with two kinds of yeast. How do you pronounce that, that name though? It's, I can never say it right. It's like de, 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 de proof. De proof. De proof. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's right. It's okay. It's like Flemish. All right. Well, send us an email because I'm, we're always picking the beers, but I'd like to see if anybody else has something to to suggest. You know, we're gonna do it yeah. anyways, so you might as well throw something out there. And, have us uh, have some ideas, some random ideas. Yeah. SFBeerShow at gmail.com. Yeah, that's it. So, all right, we'll see you next week then. See you. All right. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, the memo. I, I, don't, I don't believe I don't wait fast. I don't believe we waited so long to drink it. Maybe it aged. Okay. Oh, maybe.